It's me, Mitzi, again, after an incredibly long hiatus, and I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sweating like crazy. So, several things have happened since we've checked in last. I moved to Colorado, one. And two, it is the 1940s themed ball tonight, so that's why I'm all pretty fied. I did, I decided to do a video because I took some pictures, but the wig just doesn't look good in the pictures because it's so frizzy. And I mean, it is frizzy, but it's the best I could do on short notice. I bought like just a regular wig and then I styled it, but it turned out very frizzy. I'm wearing this stunning gown. Um, it's a modern gown. I just thought that it looked really nice. I had a different dress lined up for this event, but... It didn't fit on my hips, so it will just have to wait for another event when I lose a little bit of weight. Some jewelry to mark the occasion. I've got these stack bracelets, these earrings, and then I also have a gold purse to go with it. It is a very long dress, a very long ball gown, so unfortunately my shoes for tonight are more of like a wedge. Sorry, we're in a bathroom in a hotel, y'all, so sorry. It's where the mirror is, but uh, oh, there's my little hair accessory. Oh, I guess I can go like this and show y'all my little hair comb. Oh, there we go. But um, so I'm wearing like wedge, wedge kind of heels. I don't know how else to put it because the 1940s ball is on an airfield in Boulder, Colorado. So uh, it will be grass and concrete and all these different things so I don't need to be sinking into the ground with regular heels. And unfortunately, none of the shoes that I brought, not even these wedges or any of the heels that I did bring just in case, are long enough to keep the dress from dragging on the ground. So I'm gonna try and get you guys a whole shot of the dress without getting like a toilet in the way or something. But I am using the bathroom light because the rest of the hotel is very dim, as you can tell. <laughs> so here it is, I had her, um, Put a little bit of tool right here because I just don't like the girls so shown. Also, I'm like having a hard time keeping them in the right spot. It came with this little shawl, but I just don't know if I'm going to do anything with it. It's really short, and I feel like if I did do something with it, it wouldn't be like wrap it around my shoulders like a normal person. I would like tie it like a scarf or something really weird. So I will probably just skip it. But yeah, so have my uh, yellow tipped glasses by Zenny because it goes with the rest of everything and my black glasses I just didn't feel worked um, no nail color just like standard nails um, sorry I'm sweating so bad y'all so bad I did my lips like that bowed out 40 style you see what I'm talking about um what else what else what else the kitchen or the bathroom is a disaster now because of everything I did, but let me flip this from selfie mode so I can try and show you guys. Sorry, the strap. So it's got a pretty little blingy belt. Got the oh, got the booby part covered up. And nope. It's super big. Super long. Plenty of room for my big old hips that didn't fit in the other dress. <laughs> um I did style the wig myself, like I said, so let me show you all some more shots of it. And then if you want a behind the hair shot, I guess that's the best I can do. I don't know. I'll edit probably all of this out. But now I'm just hanging in the hotel room until it's time to get an Uber and then just hope that it's okay that I'm like a giant balloon getting in the back of his car. Or her car. Oh, hot. It's a pretty nice hotel room. So I got two. It's the Roadway Inn and Suites in Boulder. And surprisingly, it's really nice downstairs. Like, not like the, the Roadway Inn and Suites aren't nice. I'm just saying, like, it's very, like, mahogany. It has, like, a huge, like, marble globe. Like, it's very done up. So. But anyways... I think that covers it for the getting ready portion of this evening. Oh, sorry I couldn't film me getting ready. I just um, am so all over the place when I do that it would not have made for good material, honestly. 
So, I will see y'all later when I get some video of the event. Bye. All right, y'all, we are at the ball now. I've been walking around for a while and my feet are killing me. But we're on Liberty Street right now. It goes all the way down to the other end where the airplanes are. And it's a bunch of cute little like fronts and props like painted and everything. And you can have your picture taken <laughs> on the other side. There's like vintage cars you can take your picture with and things like that. Um, I've already had one picture done with a airplane prop and then I had a picture taken with a real airplane that was super cute and there are a few other photo opportunities around I just have not taken advantage of them yet because my church so that's where I'm at everyone looks lovely and I'll check in with y'all later Liberty Street USA Maybe it's one that's familiar to you. It was a pretty big hit in 1940 for the band. I think it peaked at number five on the Billboard charts. The title of it is the phone number to the Hotel Pennsylvania in New York City. Let's see if you know it. That's pretty good, but I think the dancers could do it a little bit louder. <laughs>